Hi students, today we will be doing some of the applicatory type questions from test cross. So let's have a look at what is meant by test cross first of all. In case you are given with an organism but you don't know the genotype of the organism, how do you find out the genotype of an unknown organism? In order to know that, we need to cross it with a recessive trait. So the things that you should know is whether the genotype of the unknown organism is a heterozygous dominant or a homozygous dominant. So in order to do that, you cross it with a recessive trait. We have taken the example of tall and dwarf. A tall plant could be dominant, um, ho homozygous dominant or heterozygous dominant. But in order to find it out, we need to cross it with a recessive trait. So let's directly go into the questions and with the questions you can understand it better. So the first question says, work out a cross to find the genotype of tall pea plant. Name the type of cross. Type of cross is S cross. This we will do right now. We know that they are tall plants which indicates they, that they are dominant traits. So only for a dominant trait you need to do this. Because for a recessive trait, you know the hope it is only going to be a homozygous trait. Okay, so here you have a tall pea plant. It is either this option or this option. So what we are expected to do is both these options are to be crossed with recessive trait. And we need to show that's all that you need to do. So first step for this. We need to identify the gametes, which are these. For this, the gametes are this and this. Make a cross stating capital T, capital T from here and this from here. Then, what do you ob observe? You observe that all the progenies are tall. So, if all the progenies that you get from this cross are tall, it indicates that the genotype of the initial tall pea plant is homozygous dominant. But on the other hand, you have the plant which is heterozygous in nature, this option. In that case, you will not get all tall pea plants in the next generation. Let's try to work it out. So these are the gametes. As you know, you're just writing it down in the Punnett square. So tall, capital T and small t, dwarf, capital, small t and small t. You make a cross and you realize that half of the plants here are tall. As you can observe, this and this are tall. And this and this are dwarf. So you get a 1 is to 1 ratio of tall and dwarf. If you get like this, that is half of them are tall, half of them are dwarf. In this scenario, in this example, it means that the parent pea plant, which was tall, is a heterozygous dominant. I want you all to do the second question by yourself. The question says, can you find out the genotype of a pea plant that produces purple colored flowers? So, from the Mendelian cross in the initial part, they talk about seven characters that Mendel studied and one of them was flower color. Among the flower color, purple was dominant over white flowers. Therefore, you need to take this purple to be the dominant one, which can be either a capital P, P or a capital B, P and a small one. It is either this option or this option. You need to do cross with white colored flowers, which would be small p and small p. Cross it with them by yourself and observe that you will find similar ratios. That is, if the parent is homozygous dominant, you will have all dominant characters in the progeny. And if you have heterozygous plant as a parent, you will find Half of them being purple, that is half of the dominant characters will be there. Half of the flowers will be white. Next question, work out a cross to find the genotype of a tall pea plant bearing 
white flowers is this a dihybrid cross that you are supposed to do or not read the question again it says tall pea plant bearing white flowers here the twist in this question is that they have given a white flower combination this means this part you need not even bother to do which means that they are recessive so the pea plant is something like this capital p capital t sorry capital t with white flowers which is this the other option is capital t small t and this white flowers and this part you can easily eliminate even when you are crossing because it is a recessive trait you need not cross at all so this is actually question number 1 itself asked in a different way so please don't do the capital t t then small p p and then you confuse it and you go wrong you need not do any of it you just need to cross this homozygous dominant with recessive one like so and heterozygous dominant with recessive one option number 1 option number 2 and then state that if you find all the progenies having the parental character of dominance dominant character from the parent that means it was a homozygous dominant this one if you have both the options in the progeny it says that the parent was heterozygous dominant thank you